Hi there, I'm Jules from thestonesoup.com and today I've got another healthy five ingredient recipe for you. So for our pizza, I've made a, uh, a pizza base here using broccoli, but you know, any, any pizza base you like is good. I'll um, usually use cauliflower, but I was mixing it up <laughs> today. Uh, but yeah, whatever your favorite pizza base is. And then I've got 200 grams of pesto here that I've added a bit of oil to because you want it to be kind of spreadable. Uh, but yeah, like, so if you find that your, your pesto is a bit too thick and pasty, you can always just stir in some oil with it. Mine's quite dark because it's been in the freezer since last summer, but that's all good. So you just want to, so usually, essentially we're using pesto instead of a tomato base, which would, it's totally inauthentic, but totally delicious. <laughs> and then I've got just a handful of frozen peas, and these have pretty much, well, they're still frozen actually. Uh, and you can be more generous with the peas if you like. I'm a little bit, not a super huge fan of peas, so I'm going easy <laughs> on them for myself. And then just a handful of bocconcini cheese, which is like a soft mozzarella. And I actually would probably use more than this, but um, this is all I have. So I just want enough to make it cheesy. And you can use other cheese as well. You know, regular mozzarella is fine. You can just put Parmesan on. Any cheese that's gonna melt is good on pizza. <laughs> Basically, you don't have to worry about it too much. And then we're just going to pop it in the oven, so 200C, which is 400F, just until everything's hot and the cheese is melted. Pizza's been in the oven for 10 minutes, and you can see it's all, cheese is all melted and golden, it's all bubbling. So I'm just going to serve it with a handful of baby spinach leaves on top, and um, just it's really nice with a squeeze of lemon too to really freshen it up. So if you enjoyed this recipe, really encourage you to come on over and visit my blog. It's thestonesoup.com and if you sign up for email updates, you've got a free uh, ebook filled with video recipes just like this one. Hope to see you soon.